Okay guys, I'm back and it is tour time of this really cool place that I'm staying at. Oh, there's Pico. <laughs> hey man. Okay, anyway, we're not going to get distracted with him this time. Um, so, this is, this kind of reminds me of the place I was living at on, um, with my family, um, out on an island and uh, a farm. It was great. Phone, quiet. You can tell me your plight later. Um, anyway, it's because it's rainbow and, um, with all the colors of the chakra poem kind of a thing. And so, check this out. I'm going to get myself out of the view here. And drums. Yes, I've been going to a lot of drumming circles lately, which has been awesome. I love drumming. Pico. Check out all the cool masks. Really neat. I love the masks. And the little guy that's uh, singing away a merry jig. Um, really like that. My friend drew that. And then more just music and masks. I don't know how well this is going to turn out. We'll try it and see. Hold on a second here. Um, here we go. drums. I have been playing the drums. I'm not good, mind you, but um, it's just quite fun, quite therapeutic. Mm, let me see here. Put you down by Osho. And and that's crooked. Great. And it. Mm -hmm. And let's see here. I'll give you a sample of my drumming and you guys can if you're thinking I'm just being modest or humble or anything. Um, the drumming is a different thing. When you go to a drum drum circle, at first you could be horribly offbeat like me. I have absolutely no rhythm. Um, uh, the beat in my head is always much faster than the actual beat. Um, but I find that when you're in the kind of energy with the ancestors at a drumming circle, your uh, hands tell your mind to shut up and to just kind of start to fall into uh, the rhythm with everybody. And it's really cool also because <laughs> you can make Xeno Warrior Princess noises and all different kinds of animal noises as well just to release uh, and very therapeutic. Just like the drumming, this kind of drumming is as well. Um, it's also some interesting things that you can do there like doing drum journeys where you can go to either um, with a steady kind of a drum beat uh, consistent for about 10 minutes. You can go to the um, underworld, the inner earth, and uh, the realm of the masters via um, a visualization to the forest. Always good day, forest! Um, and the uh, dork. <laughs> um, you can go into a hole in the ground if you want to go to a little earth, uh, a door if you want to go see uh, in the forest, and if you want to go to the nature spirits, we'll take you to that other realm. And um, then, or you can climb a tree if you want to go to the realm of the masters. It's um, it's quite effective actually, and you can go with a certain question, and you'll find that it will be answered in a, a dream tongue kind of a thing. Um, yeah, just try it out and see. Just like I want you guys to try eating a whole beet raw. That's your homework. Um, and I want to hear what you guys think of that. Um, I think you'll really be pleasantly surprised anyway. Here we go. Pico, you're going to run away. great what I do. <laughs> now let's continue on with the tour. Hmm. This is the Bob Marley corner. 
And this is the Grateful Dead corner. The drums, as you saw, the dartboard, Janis Joplin, uh, Beatles corner, and old school stuffed animals. Oh my gosh. Do you guys remember these things? It's kind of ugly, actually. It's embarrassing some of these things. Um, check it out. Arr. Uh, and you guys also remember the popples and stuff like that? Speaking of retro, of course, I know I'm wearing my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle shirt, and I know that it's not too far from being a reality, unfortunately, with all the mutations happening with our fruits and vegetables and stuff like that, but I like old school cartoons, and I think there's a lot of wisdom in them, and, um, yeah, so I'm going to wear it with that, um, being aware, too, and so here's the guitars. I was told I have guitar fingers, but yeah, I, yeah, I don't have the patience to play. Um, so we did this room, the living room here. You guys saw all the masks. And let's do the kitchen. You saw a little bit of the kitchen. <gasps> okay, there's always stray cats here. And so every day I get to see different cats, and it's really exciting. Uh, so this one is like a lion. It reminds me of Mufasa. Um, I'm just feeding them to get them to come closer. And there's this beautiful silver one, too, with beautiful blue eyes. Oh, my goodness. And I always get the same kind of cats. I can't help it. I have a... A thing for the orange male cats, but look at you. you Want to say hi to everybody? Oh, don't run away. Look, and there's the silver one I told you guys about. Hello, hello, guys. Oh my gosh, so beautiful. Hey, Kit Kat. This is my friend's cat. It's the backyard. We're gonna have to put in a garden, but I'm gonna be leaving soon, so I might not have time to do that. Here's some plants. This is a kitchen. We're going to play a game, where in the world is Pico? Or Carmen San Diego? Or where is Waldo? Where is Pico? Um, kind of cool. Cute little drum. I mean, mushroom. Um, little area there. Cool. Um, oh, it's very much like a, a fairy tale kind of a place which I really like, cutesy, something that my dad would make. I wish I was in the land of Luton. Okay, so there's that. Where else should I take you? I know, I will take you, hmm, not downstairs because there's a stray cat that, that uh, we caught the other day. I decided to catch it with one of my friends that drove up to New York to visit me. It's only an hour's drive. That's pretty sweet. For all of you other New Yorkin friends out there. Um, so family. Let's see here. Yeah, but anyway, we caught this cat and it was pregnant and we were supposed to, um, you know, just uh, so she wouldn't have her babies outside or under the porch or something like that. But she, she snuck in the house and she's like underneath the floorboards in, uh, in an area that we can't get, and so, mm -hmm. that's a fun adventure. I'm trying to figure out ways to get it. Look at the green here, I love it, it's cool. All right, bathroom. Might be a little messy, because I'm not always very neat. It's orange, and the hanging plants. These are my, one of my favorite house plants to have. That and a kerfuffle. I don't know what kind of plant it is, I just named it a kerfuffle. So I'll have to look it up to get you to tell you guys. Do, 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 do. Murphy's Law, which I don't like that very much. I don't jive with it, as we say. So there's the bathroom. And this is a really, really cool room. This is the meditation room. It's a nice purple. I might do a video here, too. Good background, good ambiance. Out of the way, you, Jess. Get out of the way. Okay, there we go. Pomeria. I love that flower. It's my favorite Hawaiian flower. <sighs> Let's see here.
pretty sweet room, eh? And then this is the bedroom. I won't show too much of this one. Hey, Kit Kat. So bad Sophie's not here. I'd love for you guys to meet Sophie. I've seen her in some of my videos. Ooh. What is life? Check it out. I can read some of them to you. Get an idea. Just in case we're wondering what it really is. Uh, it's really an assortment of quotes. So, what is life? It is a flash of a firefly in the night. It is a breath of a buffalo in the winter time. It is the little shadow which runs across the grass and loses itself in the sunset. Ooh, I love that. Life would be infinitely happier if we could only be born at the age of 80 and gradually approach 18, Mark Twain. I'm going to put this down. I'll read a few more. Hmm. Hmm. Not that way. It's right here. That's going to fall. There's no stable place to put my computer. Um. Life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. I couldn't agree more. Um. Life is like a movie. Write your own ending. Keep believing. Keep pretending. We've done just what we've set out to do. Thanks to the lovers, the dreamers, and you. The Muppets. Um. Being doing what you want to do now, you are not living in eternity. We have only this moment sparking like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. There are only two ways to live your life. One as though nothing is a miracle and the other as though everything is a miracle. Maybe I'll do another video where I'll just read these quotes out and you guys can collect them because I'm a bit of a quote junkie myself. There's another poster here on the wall, very similar concept and, and style as you see over there. And uh, that is What is Love? I'll read a little bit of that for us hopelessly romantic ones. I'm not pointing any fingers. I know who you are. <laughs> um, what is love? I have met in the streets in a very poor young man who is in love. His hat was old, his coat worn. The water passed through his shoes and the stars through his soul. Victor Hugo. Um, to be capable of steadily friendship of lasting love to the two greatest proofs are, are the two greatest proofs. Uh, not only of goodness of heart, but of strength of mind. And love does not consist of gazing at each other, but looking at the same direction together. Love is the wisdom of the fool, the folly of the wise. You can search the entire universe for someone who is more deserving of your love and affection than you are yourself. And that person is not to be found anywhere. You yourself, as much as anybody in this entire universe, deserve love and affection. The Buddha. Mm. If two people love each other, there can be no happy end to it. There is only two, only one kind of love, but there are thousands of different versions. The most precious gift we can offer others is our presence when mindfulness embraces those we love. They will bloom like flowers. Love is a fiend, a fire, a heaven, a hell, where pleasure, pain, and sad repentance dwell. I don't agree with that one. Love is not for the easily defeated or the, quick, or the quickly delusioned. Better to have loved and lost and never have loved at all. Oh, classic. Love is human religion in which another is believed in. Oh, I like that one. That one's beautiful. So yeah, I think I'll continue and do that one another time. Um, uh, or a separate video in itself. And uh, just this is the rest of the room. And uh, Pico was following me again. That's what I love about cats. They follow you everywhere you go. Well, particularly the Pico and the Sophie. For some reason, though, she's not here. Anyway, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour, and um, I'll see you guys shortly. I'll make another silly one. If you have any suggestions, too, of what you'd like to see, let me know. I will have some more mystical things, too. Don't worry. Um, all right. Bye.